Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we are going to understand how to do the graphical representation of the data using Python. For this, we will activate the Jupyter Notebook. We will have to import some libraries like Matplotlib and Pandas. So, from Matplotlib, import PyPlot. From Pandas, import read underscore CSV. By importing this uh, read underscore CSV, we will be able to import the CSV file into the environment of Python. We'll have to specify the path where the file is located. So we are giving the file name and the path where our file data file is located. Names we are specifying for the variables which are there in this data file. We are using Pima Indians diabetes data set. It is it is freely available on Kaggle website. Data is equal to read underscore CSV. We'll specify the file name and names is equal to names means we are, we are giving the variable names to this data set. Then we will run data.hist. It will generate the histogram of all the variables. Then pyplot.show. Then we will run the command and what we will get is the histogram of all the variables. Basically, we run histogram to see the normality of the variables. Then we will be running the univariate density plot. The univariate density plot is constructed on the basis of histogram. So from matplotlib import pyplot, from pandas import read underscore csv. Then we will say data.plot inverted brackets that is uh, kind is equal to density make sure it is in single inverted comma subplots is equal to true layout is equal to three by three by specifying this layout three by three it will generate one two three that is graphs are generated in three rows and three columns serex is equal to false pyplot dot show inverted uh, the brackets are there, round brackets are there. Please run the command and what you will get is the frequency polygon also known as a density plots. The next plot which we want to generate is a box and viscous plot. Basically all these plots, by, by running all these plots, we want to see the distribution of each and every variable because on this basis we will be running the algorithm. So from matplotlib, import pyplot. From pandas, import read underscore csv. Again, data.plot, round bracket, kind is equal to box, subplots, true, layout, three by three, serex is false, ser y is false. Serex means we are talking about x coordinate and ser y we are talking about y coordinate. Pyplot.so, round brackets. Then when we'll run the command, we will get the box and viscous plot. So this all plots were univariate plots where we considered only one variable at a time. But when we want to study the relationship of one variable with another variable, we run, we run the correlation matrix. So for this purpose, we'll be running from matplotlib import pyplot, from pandas import read underscore csv import numpy. Correlations is equal to data dot correlations round bracket figure is equal to pyplot.figure round bracket x is equal to figure dot add subplot triple one round bracket we are specifying the dimensions here so these are all you can say the mandatory commands which are there so no need to worry about it cx is equal to x dot match match so correlations v minimum is minus one v maximum is one figure is equal to dot color bar cx x is equal to numpy dot arrange 0 9 1 x dot set underscore x ticks is equal to tick, uh, round bracket ticks x dot set y ticks ticks now here comes the things which are specific to your data set so here names is related to your data set and here again the names are related to your data set 
all this are mandatory commands. I repeat, till here, it's a mandatory commands, but here it's a customized command for your data set. So when you will run this, what you will get is correlation matrix. That is the relationship of one variable to the another variable. Now, how to read this? Let's try to understand. Diagonally, each variable is related to its itself and therefore it will show the maximum correlation, which is one yellow color. Now, there is an upper triangle and the lower triangle. Most uh, the thing is upper triangle will be resembling the lower triangle or it will be it is a mirror image of each other. So either you see the lower triangle or upper triangle, it is going to remain one in the same. What we will be searching for is the color which is nearer to yellow or a greenish tone. Why? Because it will depict the positive relationship between the variables. Let's try to search it. So if I talk about this, that is a test with the scheme, it's having a positive relationship. If you find more a rather dense blue color, then it shows the negative relationship between the variables. Kindly note down because on this basis, we are going to construct the model of the machine life. Next, we are going to generate the correlation matrix plot. That's a generic plot. So from matplotlib, import pyplot. From pandas, import read underscore CSV, import numpy. Correlations is equal to data dot correlations round bracket. Figure is equal to pyplot dot figure round bracket x is equal to figure dot add subplot triple one. I again repeat, this all are mandatory commands. You don't need to worry about it. Cx is equal to x dot match so correlations v minimum is equal to minus one comma v maximum is equal to one figure dot color bar round bracket Cx by plot dot so and again it will show the relationships between the variables. The difference between the, the previous plot and this plot is that in the previous plot, you will be able to see the variables. Here, you are not able to see the variables. They have been just denoted by the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We are trying to run the scatter plot by using the different libraries. Now, we'll be using the library, which is pandas. So, from matplotlib import pyplot, from pandas import read underscore csv, from pandas dot plotting import scatter underscore matrix, scatter underscore matrix data pyplot dot so will again generate the relationship between the two variables when we will run it. You can see here that the scatter plot has been generated. So for more videos on machine learning using Python, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe the channel.